The Cleveland Way is a national trail in the historic area of Cleveland in North Yorkshire. It runs 110 miles between Helmsley and the Brig at Filey, skirting the North York Moors National Park. You all right? <laughs> can't hack it, eh? You can't hack it. Too much. Just fell over, didn't you? Because your legs are tired. You can't keep up, can you, mate? Good morning. Ow! Here we are. There's last night's pitch. LNT. Leave no trace. Slept a bit rubbish, actually. I, uh, everything was all cushy, and as soon as I got in the tent, I just got annihilated with hay fever. I rarely get, but it's just every now and again. It must have been a certain plant, a certain type of grass, whatever. So just sneezing, nose was all blocked, eyes were streaming. I could, couldn't sleep for hay fever, so during the hottest part of the day, I'll find a little bit of shade and have a little bit of snooze. Catch up on some kip. Here we are, look. How simple as that. Back on the trail. But comfortable, warm. And here we go, we're early doors. Best part of the day for hiking. Early doors and late on. I've swapped out my vest for my second t-shirt just to give my shoulders a bit of protection because apparently it's going to be hotter today than it was yesterday. Pushing 40 degrees today, so. I need a lot of water. I realized I went through a lot of water yesterday and I've run out again. We're back. Will I get through here with bag on? Bilbo bag on. Whee! Yes! Nice. Another day, another latch and lock, I like it. He's on an angle with this one. See how she fares. Stiff. Oh, that's not working. Oh, you lift that up. Oh, jeez. No. No, that's a lot of effort in that one. Plunk click. Oh, it doesn't even, even marry up. I have to put some shoulder work into it. Hoi. Nah, mate. Hmm. Unit. Personally, I wouldn't have bothered. Because it's on a slope, I would have let gravity do the work and I'd have saved that time and effort that you've put into doing that and I would have sorted that gate up there. Cherries. Get some water, mate. Brush my teeth. Sorted. Wash my hands. Oh, yes. Got some award-winning hazelnut and cider salami. Um, a little bit of brie, shortbread, and an espresso coffee. But tactically, I'm deploying these my walking sticks, hiking poles, whatever you want to call them. I mean, uh, my balance stabilizing units, my morale sticks. Uh, Oh, I don't feel like I need them. Damage report, so I'm not sure how far we did. We did about, it was over 20 miles yesterday. It's quite hot though, but feet are completely fine. Legs are fine. Did a spot of yoga this morning, stretched it all out. We just had a bite to eat. Um, and we're good, feel good. No injuries to report, no hot spots. So I just thought, I'd get these on the go now. There's no point in doing these elevations and it's there's a lot of ups and downs today. So I'm gonna use these just to take a little bit of pressure off my legs. Just bumped into another guy there who was coming the other way. Um, and he said there's not 
that's it now I'm off into the wilderness there's no real watering holes so with that in mind I've got how many have I got just over just over two liters it's not a great deal considering it's the hottest day of the year 40 degrees it is warm as well so I'm gonna put electrolytes in each one of those waters and I'm just gonna ration it I'm just gonna ration it but I've got my water filter so any little bit of water that looks to be relatively safe I'll dip into it oh it's a dog lead but it's not just been left out it's for closing door isn't it look huh. Oosh. Cheers. We're going to hit a little place that I passed when I did the coast to coast and it was the only day that had bad weather. It was pissing it down and there was, it was like pea soup, it was fog just all up in my grill so I couldn't see the views, I couldn't see anything. And I did tell myself I'd like to do this stretch again just so that I can see stuff. And here we go. I'm going to be up there again so it, we're definitely going to be able to see stuff. Not this time, geezer, not this time. The trig point there. Play it cool, trigger. Uh, I'm off round here. There's where your views are going to be coming from. In the distance is Roseby Topping. And beyond and beyond that is the Big Blue. That's what I'm excited to get to, Big Blue. I'm looking at that as sort of halfway. Morale-wise, it's halfway. Get to Big Blue. And then it's down my my coast, my familiar coast. Coasting. Coasting all the way to Filey. And I will be having at least one dunk in sea, if not multiple dunks. Dunks of hazard. That didn't work. That's heat wave, you can't do me for that. I'm in a heat wave, guys. Any any uh, ridiculousness. Poor. Poor banter, let's call it. Poor banter. Any ridiculous bants that I do today is blamed on heatwave. You can't do me for it. So it might not be up to, you know, day two of the Cleveland Way might not be up to much with this and this. So just pre warning you. Pre warning you for shants. <laughs> Even me just saying it's going to be shants is shants, innit? I get it. I get it. I get it. Just carry on hiking. Bosh, bosh. You having that? Day two. Day two, still doing his silly little walks. Yeah. You know it, guy. Still doing it, day two. Still walking past camera. Every day. That's what I'm going to do. Every day I'm going to do one because it's just, it's proof to yourself, to me, that you're not tired, you're not getting beaten, you're enjoying yourself. And it's about the journey, not the destination. You know, just within life. Oh, I'm going to get philosophical, aren't I? <laughs> philosophical ball, Paul. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, as in life, mate. You can. It's good to have goals and aspirations, and you know, have a vision board, man. Don't, don't have a vision board, mate. But you know, set yourself goals and little things that you want to do in life but don't put all your eggs in that basket and and don't just think that what you're doing now is just a journey to that goal because like John Lennon said man life is what happens to you while you're baking other flans or something like that and so you know there is joy to be found in the struggle if you are a little bit overweight and you say to yourself right six months time I'm gonna get to this goal that doesn't mean that that six months you just lock yourself away from everything and just torture yourself and you know you, you pin all your dreams and hopes on this six month thing when i get there everything will be fine because a you'll miss out on the life that you that you're living and b when you get there you'll guaranteed be disappointed because it won't it won't be what you want it to be and you'll then you'll just be replaced with another want or desire and so to really be happy 
in life it you need to conquer the moment conquer the now and just be sort of learn to be at peace with yourself in the moment and it's difficult to do you know I jump in and out of it because I've got ADHD so you know I've just like learning Spanish because I've got ADHD. I'm like oh I'm doing a a multi-day hike during a heat wave and I'm like you know what I'm gonna I started downloading an app I've started learning Spanish so <laughs> there's that anyway that's Heatwave Waffles, isn't it? My new band, Heatwave Waffles. I mean, it's warm. It's warm. <laughs> it's warm, and it's still early doors, and he's set to peak at like between two and five. So that's going to be a. If it is too much, I'm just going to get in shade, sit it out, and then bat on through the evening. <sighs> Yorkshire, mate. Eat up, yeah, eat up there. This is nice. <laughs> There's some beautiful, look at all the different shades of green. I don't know if it picks it up, but it's very nice. And I love these little paths, man, with all like the stones and that. Just beautiful. I can't tell you how nice it is to get in woods. Oh, the shade. It's hot out there. I keep saying it's hot. Stop saying it's hot, shouldn't I? I mean, it is hot, but there's more to life than that. It's hot, but it's hot, and it's nice to be in this shade, cooling down a little bit. As I say, I wore my t-shirt to keep it off my shoulders. My cap's doing an half-assed job of keeping it off the back of my neck. And what can you do? I'll just have trucker tan, won't I? More than happy to be ambling through here. We're doing all right, we've put a few miles in. Look at that, man. Put a few miles in, we'll go through this wood and then it'll start taking me up to the tops. And uh, that'll afford me some vistas that I was robbed of by Mother Nature when I did the coast to coast. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. There we are, look, I cleave them way and then behind it, the lightweight walk. That's how old that one is. Etched in stone, on here, new timber. That's a very old, a very old route. One that I'm probably gonna do actually at some point this year. A very old and past its sell by date, chicken of the woods and some on there as well. Gone to waste, that'd have been a good feed. I was just aimlessly walking through here, admiring the views. And then it just hit me, I was like, oh, I've been here before, I, re I recognise this. I recognise this gaff. <laughs> and it was uh, on my coast to coast, this is where I came across here and there was a load of cows all strewn across yar. If I can be bothered, roll clip. Look at these. They all stood in my way, man. I'll write the headline for you. Yorkshire's sexiest rambler mauled to death by a herd of cows. There's your headline, you're welcome to it, whoever finds this, whoever finds this uh, camera. And my beaten up body, is that a bull? Ah, come on then, let's go. What you do is, <laughs> you can't show, you can't show fear. <laughs> Even though look at them all looking at me, it's just not, it's out of order. Right, come on, out it road, get up. Hey up there, get up. He's a big lad, look at him, bull. I've just out bulled a bull, look at that. Hey up, <laughs> yes. Country file, mate, country file. Even that big bull. I don't know if you can, I guess you can see my biceps through this poncho. He certainly must have, anyway, he must have done. Cacked him, look, he cacked himself. Small victories, guys, small victories. Was I bothered there? Have you just seen a clip? Who knows, depends how I feel at the time. Depends how I feel, look. They obviously got the point, didn't they, look? Got the message, cleared off. Rumour has it there haven't been a cow seen in these parts since that fateful day. And if I remember correctly, this next bit is a bit of a thigh burner. So I have to put you away and get on with thighs. Liza Manelli.
It's too windy, can't hear you. Can we hide behind here? We've not been doing much filming because it's been too windy, which... Ah, get down here with you. Which is a joy, uh, because it's keeping it relatively cool. Even though the wind, it's like someone's holding a hairdryer in my face. Stunning views. Absolutely lovely. But uh, as far as sort of waffling to the camera, it's pretty, it's pretty much a no-go, because... I'll get you up here. Ah. See, it's a bit windy. It's probably not picking up, but... I can remember this from the coast to coast, I think. We go back down into this valley and up that other side, which is a bit of a killer, if I remember correctly. So, we'll have a little break before we do that. There's a tap here, look. And I was worried that I wasn't going to find one rationing my water, so I'm going to take on board a load of water and restock and sit in the shade a little bit because I was on the tops and that breeze was keeping the sort of heat off me although it was still on me but I just didn't realise because the breeze then as soon as I dropped down I was like whoa oh my skin was hot he realised that it is really boiling hot <laughs> so I'm going to fill my water up rehydrate and sit in the shade for a bit bits that some keep poking through but mainly sheltered behind this tree to take a bit of heat off me cause it, so I'm feeling it a bit Ow. I'm buzzing now I got my bo water bottles filled up because that was they were starting to go down at a rate of knots and I was thinking I can't ration this because the amount of liquid that's just pouring out of me I need to replenish it and the salts that I'm losing otherwise you know because I are eating so I had my breakfast and I'm not eating all day so losing all them salts and minerals and stuff I would bonk out <sighs> so I'm glad I'm happy that I filled them up and I'm gonna have a good rest maybe 20 minutes half an hour in this shade just chilling out might even have a snooze just to take the edge off this midday sun and then it's back up onto the tops El Scorchio I just kept getting bitten by horse flies and stuff so that one enjoyable I couldn't relax so, let's just bat on. Medic! The last time I was here, I mean, roll clip. So that's Middlesbrough, if you can see over there. Hartlepool. Uh, what else we got? Yes. Yes. This is, I wanted this one. I wanted it. I was thinking about it, when I knew it came this way, I was thinking, oh, this is my moment to get my, my view that I didn't get last time. There it goes, look. Whew. A bit flying it flat as a witch's tea hat. Well, you've got your hills, you've got your rosemary topping in distance. It's so destroying for legs to see how far I've got to go all across these ridges, back out that way, and all the way around to yon side of Roseby Topping. It's these bits, man, the valleys. Anyway, beautiful. In fact, you know what? It's a nice little stone seat, in it? Shall we have a little sit on it? Oh, why not? Treat yourself. You know what I mean? Treats this end, there it is. There it is. Look at that. It's essentially a bog, but I'm having it. I think I'm having it. I'm having it. I'm not going to get in it, because that would be weird, wouldn't it? But cause it's a bit murky. Oh, but it's cold. Shall I get in it? That's nuts. I'm getting Ed in. I'm getting Ed in it, I think. Oh, my God, that's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> I've got to. I've got to. Ed's going in it. There's all sorts in there. Oh, well. Wild Swimming 101, Edinburgh. It's for survival reasons. I saw my ears. Ah. <laughs> Oh. 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 
I'm not puff it, it stinks. It's not good. <coughs> Nothing good about it. Uh, it is good actually, I'm enjoying it. <coughs> no. Woo! That felt unreal. That is good. Stinks a bit, but look at that beautiful bit of water. That's the first bit of water I've come across, so uh, that's all. That's what you're going to get from him dunking in it. Imagine finding something that I can actually get in. Oh, that'll be insane. That's refreshing. Let's go. There's a fair few bilberries kicking about here, so I'm going to put my bag down and spend. A good few minutes filling myself for them because that is good sugars. Like a monkey picking nits out of another monkey's hair. Gloves are coming off. Gloves are coming off. It's serious. Serious foraging now. It's for a reason as well. I need the sugar. I want it. Oh mate, dunked me head in that cold water. Now I'm getting some of these. Can life get any better than this? No. There we go, just filled up on them uh, look at that, blue hands, bilberries. The camera just tapped out because it was too hot. So, that's how hot it is. All the electrics are giving in. Can't hack it. That was a beast. Coming up this was a beast. That's a beast. That little short walk, so I got to the top of here, I thought, oh, nice one, I'll be able to just carry this ridge round. It was literally that bit, and then, Oh, straight into another one. That's brutal, man. Medic! That was funny. I'd just done a medic before I went through this gate, and um, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, I was thinking, what would it be like if um, someone just, you know, just saw me doing a medic, like just whatever. So I was like, medic! To this thing, to this whatever it was, pheasant. And then, came through the fence, and there was, came through the gate, and there was just two blokes sat <laughs> by side at wall. Ah, oh, so they were like, I came through on my own. So they were like, why is he just shouted medic and then come through that gate? <laughs> so there's that. That was some good news for you. There's some good news. Getting all the way up this monster. Up to this rocky crag. That's the first time. That's the first time it's got too much for me. I'm at these rocks and I've managed to foot. <laughs> I've sort of got myself in the middle of all these and below ground level there's a nice breeze coming through there sheltered from the sun coming up there was tough the wind on my just at my back was sapping me and I was thinking oh, am I burn? of course I am I was thinking if, if phone can't handle it sort of phone phone tapped out I went to Checked my GPS and the phone was like, you need to cool it down before it'll work. And then my camera just broke on me because of the heat. And I was thinking, well, if everything, like, what, what's stopping me from doing that? Like, I'm on that verge. And I felt like, coming up there, that was me logging off. <sighs> Got a bit light-headed. <sighs> Purely just from the heat, man. It's just cooking my head, I think. It's just cooking my brain. <sighs> ah. Oh. I'm gonna have some water, some electrolytes here and now and just let my body temperature drop and then set off again. That was funny, them two blokes, man. Just shouting medic behind the gate like that. Medic! Alright, lads. <laughs> I stopped and had a chat with him and one of them blokes had just almost passed out. He said he'd come in from the other way with his mate and he'd, uh, he'd gone all dizzy and nearly passed out. So. <laughs> Mad dog's an Englishman, isn't it? The last time I was here, it was completely fogged over. Zero visibility. Lovely little place. Oh, I've got a headache. Split headache. Might be my brain, I think, cooking. Whatever's left of my brain is getting sous vide in my skull. We're in the middle of it now, we're at worst of it. This is worst of it, so. 
I cooled down a bit in them rocks. Then when I got out and the sun hit me, it was like an instant headache. Uh, anyway, get my head down and get some miles in and hopefully find some water to jump in just to cool my core temperature. Uh, if not, just maybe find some shade again and just keep going from shade to shade, scurrying like a little mouse. Like that shrew. That's probably what that shrew was doing, TBH. Here we go again, another valley. Down, through here. I'm gonna get up onto this ridge and then sort of like go backwards to go back round and up along top of that ridge and all the way around to there. That's my plan for today. You can see all the ridges I've done. I've even started back here, down, up, down, up. These have just killed me off. This is the hardest hike I've ever done. That's saying something, but it, I think it is because there's no way I can't get away from this heat. It's the time of day is like four or five o'clock when it was peak. It's like 40 degrees, and I can't get away from it. There's nowhere to shelter. The uh, the duds that I wore my sacks when I first came out. I'd only done like little hikes in them and worn them about and stuff. And they've done they've done a number on me and chafed me up. Uh, so that's getting worse. So I'm dealing with that, and um, so I've had to swap out for my icebreakers. They call them underpants. <laughs> uh, to try and get a bit of relief on that, but it's really hurting me. Uh, Water's running low. There's no wonder there's no one else out. I'm not running into anyone. And uh, fuck, you know, all that. All that to go. I couldn't, I can't even like, just go and act like, there ain't even a wall to get behind. For just a little bit of a respite from it. It's just a constant. I've got to the stage where I'm having to ration my water now. Make sure the water's all right, that's priority. Anyway, that's my update. Sorry for whinging, but that sun's kicking my dick off. I've had to stop. I've come off the track and I found this little clearing that I could pitch my tent in. I'm not going to get bugged out either if I sleep on it. Because it's, um, I don't think I'm going to make it anywhere to wherever. And it's maybe about half six, seven. Ooh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lie down here, just chill out, rest me bulb, try and get some shade on my bulb from my bag or whatever. Um, and then see how I feel when it gets a bit dusky, like nine, 10 o'clock, see if I can, see if I feel like doing a couple of hours then. If not, this is a good enough place for me. I'll just pitch my head. I mean, pitch my head. I've got, got to do this. I'll just pitch my tent here and rest me noggin. Eee. Mare to you too, mate. I'm having a mare, yeah. I've only got a couple of mouthfuls left of uh, H2O. H2O, no. All right, geezer. So down here would be classic watering hole, but arid. <laughs> All right, gadge. Look at this. Is it arid? Absolutely arid, yeah. This is where I leave the coast to coast. And strictly Cleveland way. Although it's been one of the hardest days, it's been nice to revisit and have a little bit of nostalgia chucked at me. Enjoyed it. Last time I went that way. This time, that way. Let's go. I've reached a low point where <laughs> my ears just turned into pork scratchings yet or not. Just a puddle in it, but. I am thirsty. Some sort of low point. 
for, for me. What's it? Oh, it's cold. There's a lot of floating stuff in it. But uh, let's just get enough for a little drink and enough to to cook a meal if we need to. Look at all these flying at idiots as well. Uh, right. Yummy, yummy. Let's have you. Ah, oh, they're getting me. What are they? Is that all I can get? Look at all the bits in it as well. I can't do this, man. I'm doing it, though. He says he's doing it. It's getting filtered, so don't worry about it. Ah, oh, yes. That will... I don't know what that will do, but it will do. You know, it's a relatively long way to the next place, considering how tired I am. Or... Oh. How bad my chafing is, it's like it's quite a distance to the next gaff. And it's getting to that stage at the day when there's now going to be open. So, on Otty State, yeah, mate, it's, it's more important to stay hydrated, isn't it? And it's. I mean, look at all the flies on it. But, whatever. It's getting filtered. Ah, oh, they're midges as well, they're getting me. They're mozzies. They're not midges, they're midges. I'm getting bitten. You can see here, in the heather, and then there's this big bald square bit where they've burnt it away, and they do controlled burns, and uh, put a little hide there, and so they can see the grouse coming out of the heather into this bit, bosh. It's a mad place, look, where some of, I don't know what it is, but look at the view. Can't be bad. I tapped out, I managed to get some water from a puddle, <laughs> as you do. And then uh, just came down here off the track and I thought, look, it's relatively flat. Head down here, and we'll come at it again tomorrow. Because today was a tough one, man. This heat had killed me. Looks like I'll have quite some nice skies and I've got enough water to. I'm going to boil it as well. I only filtered it, but I'm going to boil it as well. And uh, I'm going to have a meal and then I'm going to go to bed. Just it's so nice to get these feet aired out, man. For some reason, I've managed to get a blister. There's a blister. Come on, focus in. All around there. See that? Inside there and round, like, in my big, in between my toes, man. I'm going to have to just see what it's like in the morning, maybe just, um... Wow, look at that. Sidetracked by that big... Glowing orange thing. Get into it. Sick. Dinner is served. Ready for it. That's my first meal at day. I had my little bit of meat and cheese for breakfast and then I've not eaten anything all day so this is going to go down a treat. I forgot to do map time because after such an arduous day my bulb was fried and I totally forgot so map time will be coming up in part three so stay tuned for that if you're not subscribed already please do or consider doing hit the bell notification to be notified when the next video drops and thanks for watching